Good morning and uh, welcome again to our daily devotion insight and then this morning I want to share with you following the light. It's found in my text is found in John chapter 8 verse 12 says I am the light of the world and there's Jesus speaking. He says whoever follows me will never walk in darkness but will have the light of life. You know, uh, a lot of us are afraid of the dark, isn't it? You know, I used to, uh, some people used to uh, laugh at me, you know, make a joke. My family always say that, you know, uh, I must have a, I must have light, you know, all, all the time, must on <laughs> at least one light in the room, in the house. You know, and uh, maybe this question I would uh, just ask uh, on a general, you know, are you afraid of the dark? Are you afraid of the dark? You know, many people are, you know, and especially children, you know, uh, sometimes we try and stop them from going somewhere, doing something. So we say, hey, don't go there, it's dark. No, don't go there, it's dark. So otherwise, uh, we will see that generally, uh, we do have some areas where we feel that um, in certain darkness, we are a little bit uh, concerned. We are a little bit fearful. So physical darkness is one thing. But there is also spiritual darkness. So how can people who want to walk with God find their way in a dark world? Huh? How can people who really want to live for God you know, find our way in a dark world? You know, the more we proceed in our days, we realize that indeed we live in a very dark world. So Jesus provides the answer. He says, follow me. He said to each of his disciples, he says, follow me. Huh? And uh, it's what he says to every believer also. He says, follow me. Jesus says, follow him. Amid the shadows of moral confusion and also the grey gloom of guilt, you know, uh, we see the world is not getting better. Uh, there's a lot of chaos. There's a lot of uncertainties. But Jesus is the light of the world. No doubt about it. So when we follow him, we will never walk in darkness. You know, while living in a, we live, uh, I mean, we all live in uh, tropical countries and uh, we, we live in, uh, we are in Asia uh, and uh, the sun comes in the morning and then the sun sets, you know, it, even the more uh, eastward you are, the faster, you know, the sun sets. And uh, so, Sometimes when the sun sets, especially in the areas where, you know, uh, maybe electricity is scarce, then you realize that it really becomes very dark quickly. And sometimes there is no power, you know, that means there's no, uh, no uh, power uh, coming through, you know, no electricity. And then, and then we are in a totally dark situation. And uh, so we, look, we are looking for a flashlight. We're looking for a candle. We're looking for a source of light. I still remember those were the days when, you know, uh, I was at uh, Borneo site, which is Sarawak. And uh, when we go to certain places, uh, certain time in the evening, and uh, when it reaches dark, and we go through and we are still on our way, we can hardly even see our, you know, stretch out our hand, we can't even see our fingers, unless we have a torchlight, unless we have some source of light. So I, I'm always glad that somehow there is some kind of light, uh, especially when in darkness. So for us as believers, you know, Jesus is our source of light. Thank God that Jesus is our source, our, our source of light. We do not have to be afraid of the dark. And uh, we will never have to experience darkness because we have the light of life. Uh, in fact, Jesus says he is the light of of the world. Uh, he says he is the light of the world. So John writes about Jesus in John 1 verse 4 to 5. He says, In him was life, and that life was the light of all people. In Jesus was life, and in that life he is the light for all people. So the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. So we thank the Lord that Jesus is the light. And darkness cannot overcome uh, the light that is in Jesus Christ because He is the one that comes and light our lives. So the darkness of evil will never overcome 
the light of Jesus. Amen. So we thank God that no matter how we see the world, you know, going, spiraling down, spiraling into darkness, but we know one thing for sure, that this darkness of evil will never overcome the light of Jesus Christ. So this morning, you know, let us make a decision to say, I will follow this light. I will follow Jesus Christ, who is, he says, he is. John in John 8 verse 12 says, he says that I'm the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Amen. So let's just pray this morning and say, shine Jesus, shine upon my life into the darkest corners of the world and expose every evil, evil thing. Help me to follow you, the light of the world, and brighten my path as I walk with you amen amen may you find jesus may if you are if you know jesus then you follow him all the way because he is the light of the world amen